Albert Einstein was a daydreamer, which could make him seem a little distant, and he had few friends of his own age as a young child. However, when he was five, Einstein experienced a pivotal event for him personally that would prove no less so for mankind. Einstein was poorly at the time and was recuperating in bed when his father presented him with a gift to distract him, a compass. The way that the needle rooted out north without any mechanical intervention rendered the boy astonished. Einstein himself described the moment as leaving him cold and shivery. Here was an object that showed with brilliant clarity the physical effects of an invisible force. From that moment on, Einstein was obsessed by the unseen forces that influence our universe. What follows is a journey to understand Einstein's radical way of thinking. We will explore how to create solutions to your toughest, even impossible problems. You will learn techniques implicit in the solutions of Albert Einstein, history's greatest problem solver. He was successful because he had a very different way of thinking. These techniques are not just for unraveling the mysteries of the universe. By learning new ways to solve problems, you can increase the profitability of your business, improve educational opportunities for your children, make artistic and creative breakthroughs, and enhance the quality of your life. Tough problems of all kinds can be resolved because one universal principle is at the core of learning to think like a genius. You've got to break the rules. You can learn to think in the same way. You won't become any smarter, but you will start seeing the solutions you have been ignoring. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. 1. Be curious. For all that we may wonder at the intellectual processes that propelled Einstein to greatness, he himself seemed to believe that there was nothing so important as his relentless desire to find answers to the really big questions. As he wrote in a letter in his later years, My scientific work is motivated by an irresistible longing to understand the secrets of nature and by no other feelings. To a friend who published an early biography of him in 1920, Albert explained that it was his inner conviction that the development of science was mainly driven by the need to satisfy the longing for pure knowledge. Einstein was thus able to combine a sense of wonder at the world with a belief that he could come to understand what lay behind those wonders. The sickly infant, who had marvelled at the seemingly mystical powers of the compass, soon found his interests expanding to take in the mysteries of heat and electricity. No wonder given that the family business was electricity generation. He grew up too, in a period when science was just starting to come to terms with the physical reality of atoms and molecules, essentially the unseen building blocks of the universe, while the emerging field of kinetic theory, the motion of particles within matter, was another major area of interest for him in his youth. And just as sometimes it is better to travel than to arrive, Perhaps it was more pleasurable for Einstein to explore his curiosity than it was even to find answers. 2. Follow your intuition. Allied to his unstinting curiosity was a deep faith in his own intuition. It is safe to say that all of his greatest discoveries were the result of feats of the mind, which he then sought to prove evidentially. Einstein, though, worked by envisioning certain scenarios in more of an abstract manner, and then set out to prove or disprove his hypothesis. This was how intuition fueled his great leaps forward. 3. See the world differently. Going hand in hand with his trust in intuition was an unshakable faith in the power of the imagination. It was this that allowed Einstein to take knowledge and to reconfigure it in totally original ways. He had the imagination and the courage to give it a free rein to see the world differently to anyone who had preceded him. As Nobel physicist Arthur Compton would note, Einstein is great because he has shown us our world in truer perspective and has helped us to understand a little more clearly how we are related to the universe around us. He then had the necessary skills to communicate his unique view of things to others. While Einstein's writings inevitably present a few challenges, 
For those with a moderate level of relevant background knowledge, it is eminently possible to follow how he reshaped centuries of scientific wisdom. It should also be noted that Einstein saw himself not in the narrow terms of scientist. He once famously asserted, the greatest scientists are artists as well. The implication was that big scientific developments require the same skill, vision and creativity that might have been found in any of his cultural heroes, from Mozart or Bach to Tolstoy or Shaw. At the core of any great artist is a formidable imagination, for seek out like minds. Einstein was a man who, for the large part of his life, worked alone. His greatest discoveries were mostly solitary achievements. That said, he had an uncanny knack of rooting out intellectual and philosophical soulmates who, even if they had limited direct impact on his work, played important roles in his overall development. 5. Break Rules His refusal to fully submit himself to the demands of the academic world was one reflection of the natural streak of rebelliousness that would prove so important in his theoretical work. Einstein, above all else, was an independent spirit with a natural adversity to bending to the will of others. He considered that the individual and society existed in a delicate balance in which the former must not be subsumed by the latter. Einstein's heroes were those who used their intellect to challenge the status quo. His inherent distrust of accepting what one is presented with was part of the reason that he so admired Galileo, who he considered had waged a passionate fight against any kind of dogma based on authority. It was why Einstein was prepared to question literally everything, including the accepted fundamental principles of our cosmos. The payoff was that he regularly found himself in conflict with institutions of governance, with professional colleagues and sometimes with dangerous enemies. Nonetheless, there is the strong suspicion that he was never more alive than when mocked in such struggle. 6. Think Bigger in part a response to his growing dissatisfaction with quantum theory, Einstein spent roughly the last 30 years of his life attempting to define what he termed the unified field theory. Having fallen in love as a young man with the elegance of Maxwell's electromagnetic field, he now wanted to master the equations that would integrate the apparently incompatible elements of the electromagnetic and gravitational fields. Success in devising such a theory of everything, it was said, would be akin to reading God's mind. 7. Don't fight time. He may have been the man who redefined it, but Einstein came to realize that even he could not reverse time's passage. Like many people, he sporadically found the process of aging painful and resented the resulting change in his treatment by others. Nonetheless, he adapted from young gun to elder statesman with considerable grace. Einstein was one of the world's most natural rule breakers, the James Dean of science. He didn't just challenge physical laws, he flaunted tradition and outraged governments. Breaking rules caused him constant trouble, but Einstein's audacious willingness to fracture any rule was at the core of his genius. He was a great problem solver, because he was a superb rule breaker. It is a common trait of genius and a skill that can be learned and cultivated. We can all think like Einstein if we just learn to break the rules.